crap, sorry. <laughs> You're recording. Anyway, all jokes aside, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we have got 5K, 5 jib, 5 quid, whatever you want to call it. I've got 5K and I'm going to be going on to Copart where I get the majority of my salvage cars and we're going to be going shopping. So what can 5K buy me in an online salvage auction? We're about to find out. The last time I'd done one of these videos, I set myself a budget of two and a half quid, £2,500, and I ended up picking up a nice little Audi A3. I rebuilt that car, and you guys seem to like that video. So, this time round is the week before Christmas. I'm feeling lucky. Around this time, things always tend to go cheap. So, I'm going to be taking you into the live auction with me. We're going to be having a look around, seeing what we can see. I haven't done any pre prep. I want it to be authentic, and I want you guys to see how I find my insights. A lot of you guys have always said, and you know, there's a general gist that there's no more money to be made in the salvage game. Cold part are thieves, the prices are high, blah, blah, blah. There's no money in it. Well, I'm still on the lookout for a deal and I think that I can find a deal. So let's get into it. That renewal has come back so quick. So my watch list, I've got a few items that I wanted to have a look at, keep an eye on, um, but I want to go to the auctions. This is what I always do. Um, unless I'm looking for a specific car, I normally just go to today's auctions, come down, I choose which one is ever closest. Let's try Wolverhampton. Um, I saw a few lots in Wolverhampton that I want to try. So view all sales list. And the first thing that I do, because of the end of the year, I want something quick to try to turn over some funds. So I will go for, I'm looking for automatic. Um, and I'm looking for cat ins, and I'm gonna include cat use. Simply in case if I find anything. Just something to be, I just, I'm looking for something that's quick to turn over. That's the whole point of this video. So check this one. First of all, what's caught my eye is, let me bring the camera a bit closer. So the first thing that's caught my eye is this 2017 Mercedes S 350D. So it's 2017, it's gonna be ULES compliant, it's diesel, it's seven speed auto, and it's a category in for non-structural. I always like to check the additional info because sometimes Copart will put kind of like any hidden damages in there. Like weird noise come from engine. <laughs> that one always makes me laugh. But number of keys two, uh, number of wheels four, well, I'd expect that. Um, let me open up these pictures. So the damage is localized to the front, I think. Yep, can't see any damage around. No airbag damage, but let me go back up. I just wanted to make sure it is localized to the front. So for me, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm rubbing my hands. I need to get a, com uh, it's not even a complete front end. I reckon we'll be able to repair that bonnet. Front bumper, grill, driver side headlight. I'm hoping you might be able to fix that passenger side headlight, driver side wing, but it's looking like the front slam panel is not too badly damaged at the top section. Bumper bar is definitely not damaged. And scrolling down through the rest of the car, there's no other damage around. The interior is really, really nice. It's an S-Class, so you'd expect that. There's no airbag damage on the interior. Rear seats are fine and yeah, here's confirmation of that crash bar. There's no damage there. Front stand panel seems fine. And the pre-accident value on this one is, what's the pre-accident value? 17,500. And it's only at 4,600, but it's got a minimum bid. I'd expect that that's got a minimum bid of around seven, eight grand. From my own experience, I'm just guesstimating here. The V5 is on file as well, so it comes with the logbook. However, at four, six plus fees, that takes me over my budget already, and I'm sure that's gonna go up. So come out of that, we're not gonna go after that. Have a look at this Bentley Continental. Oh my God. It just looks nice and white. But I'm not really a Bentley fan. I'm not really a Continental fan. 2004, ooh, look at that interior. Let me make that bigger for you look. So guys, that interior on this Bentley, oh my God, that is, that is a thing of beauty. Now, if I was getting a car for the channel to just hype up or a car for myself to stunt around in a bit, I'd probably convince myself to put a bid on that. But once again, that is not the nature of the channel and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that I can get fairly cheap, relatively cheap, pick it up, fix it, flip it. That is the whole point of 
why I do salvage cars. This looks like a good buy, but then the mileage, 126. This is a 2011 Audi A3 TDI. So two reasons, I'm not even gonna look at it. It's not gonna be ULS compliant. I live in London, so I'm just gonna get charged. And then the mileage, 126. I know it's not a lot, but when you're selling cars, people like low mileage. Look at this Bentley Bentayga, bloody hell. 2020 Bentley Bentayga. The current bid is 52K. And it's got an estimated value of 106,000. Look at that. One day, guys. One day. But yeah, I, I don't quite. I quite. I don't like them. I, I don't think that doesn't appeal to me. I like something that's low, powerful, and it's got a big old turbo on it. <laughs> so, guys, I'm keeping my eye on this little MG. Check this out. This little MG. It's gone, but it was at 3.5. It's a uh, category in, so non-structural. And from what I can see, it's a bolt-off, bolt-on job. And this should make a nice, tidy profit. It's worth 24. I've got a feeling it's going to go over five anyway. But the current bid is £3,500 right there. So, if you come out of that, there's another one that I was looking at. 2008 BMW 325 diesel. But I've kind of like gone against it because... Of the bloody Eulers in London, so I'll come at that. Anyway, the auction has started. Let's dive in, and I'll show you what the live bidding looks like. Why does it keep coming up with this? So, turn that down. So, guys, we are in. This is what the live auction looks like. So this is Sandy Lane seat. This is where the MG is, and you can see here the MG's got 41 minutes before it's live on the block so what I'll do I'll add another auction let's see Bristol is about 200 quid delivery Newbury is yeah Newbury is fairly close I'll add Newbury I'll add another auction and at this rate I'm choosing by what's close um, once again to save costs on delivery Sandy and then I'll add one more which is Rochford so I'll add another auction Rochford so guys look at this one 2012 golf match turn it so you can see it's about to be sold for 625 quid crazy it's a cat in it's got 69 on the clock oh it's gone up someone just made a monster bid you literally just saw that it was at 625 now it's at 1450 crazy I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's just a monster bid that someone made but it's all popping off <laughs> It's all popping off. I want to see what this is going to go for. Look at that. 1450. 15. 1550. Ah, uh, see, Copa have killed me with this bonus time crap. Like, why? Why? It's not necessary. Just, if you're going to bid, you're going to bid, isn't it? Sold, 1550 plus fees. Just under two grand, I reckon. Not too bad. Here's a little Corsa, unrecorded. You see like this car, there's not a lot of damage on there. It's unrecorded. I'm immediately asking the question, why are you not trying to sell this car on the usual channels? Why is it in a salvage website? I would never, I would never bid on that. It looks all good, but I can guarantee you'll probably find some sort of issue. That's just my experience. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I'm not trying to slam the cold part. This is not a cold part video. This is not a sponsored video. That's just my own, that's just my own experience. And I'm sharing with you guys. So anyway, come out of that. Let's see what else is going up in Newbury. So Newbury has got this old school 2003 Range Rover. It's only at 700 quid. Like if you're on a farm somewhere for 750 quid, that that happy days check out the other pictures bonus time, bonus time is gonna go 750 it's not that bad it's got high mileage though 171k v5 on file and it says it runs and drive See what that's gonna go for. It's at 800 quid now. Nah. 
2010, 318, it's at 29. I think that's too expensive. See me, I'm, I'm very I'm very careful when I'm bidding for cars. 2,900 plus fees. Fees is gonna be about an additional 500 quid on that. Three, five. Unless you're buying that for your personal use, there's not a lot of money left in that. And it looks like a standard spec as well. It's at 3.2 right now, 2010. It's automatic, actually it's, it's quite nice inside. See like, if you're picking this up for yourself, that's a really good buy. Still going, 3.250, 3.3. Yeah, someone, someone really wants this. Come on, 3.550. See that is, already you're looking at four grand. And the pre-accident value, it's only five grand, that's what I mean, like, unless you're buying that for yourself, you're not really going to make a lot of money on that. It's a cat in as well. And this is the problem, like, everyone is on Colpot right now, and the prices are just going through the roof. I'm sorry, 3650 for this car, no matter how nice it is inside, it's too much. Because Colpot are going to just hike up the fees as well, so 3650. 100% you're looking at about 4,200 including the fees and then you're either going to go up there and, and, and collect it or you're going to get it delivered You might as well go buy one for five grand without the cat. Nah, three seven now. Nah. Someone's just bidding That's what I don't understand. Like, who's bidding on these cars? Create three eight guys Nah, look pre-accident value 5,132 3,800, they're gonna add at least 400 pounds of um, fees. So you're looking at 44, 3,850. It, it, <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. It's a cat in. It's only worth five grand, 5,132 pounds. And that's inflated. It's worth less than that. No money in this build. No money in this build whatsoever. They've been fighting this out for ages as well. 3950. Are you guys actually seeing this? Sold. Let me shift this camera around. This is ridiculous. Have a look at that. 3950. You're looking at 4546 with fees now. At least 4500, 4600. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Sold. 3950. Do you think that was a good price? I don't. Okay, this little MG that I'm looking at, let me show it to you in a bit more detail. I'm still in the auction on the other page, but this little MG, so it needs a bonnet, front bumper. I'm, a, I'm hoping that I can salvage at least one of these headlights, but driving side, no issues. Rearing, no issues. Passenger side, no issues. I need an airbag kit. A lot of people get scared for airbag damage. I'm not scared of airbags at all. Um, I know once you replace them with light flight parts, get it all programmed, they are gonna be 100% safe. And I've done a number of them. Coming down, you can see the damage. Like I said, bonnet and the front end basically. And I always get cars that are localized. Guys, if you're new to the salvage game, start small, start with a cat in, cause that's non-structural. And never get, I see a lot of people make the mistakes and they buy cars, it's got damaged hair there and everywhere. You're gonna end up spending an arm and a leg paying to repair that car because you're gonna have to pay to practically get a full respray. Get damage that is localized to one specific area and that will set you up nicely. So it's a 70 plate, cat in, nice spec, and it's electric. This is an electric car. I'm really, really buying into the idea of electric cars and that's where everything is going soon so it's got one former owner yeah that's all good so this has got 20 minutes left i'll catch up with you when this is on the block okay guys so i've been sat here waiting i told you i'll catch up with you once it's on the block but it's already gone look the current bid is 5300 on the little mg let me try to enlarge it so yeah 5300 so i'm gonna leave that because it's over the budget i can buy it but I, I, I always say in all of my coal park guides, I stick to my budget and my budget is five grand and I'm not going over that. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to have a look around and see if there's anything else that's for today. Some of the other items in the watch list is for tomorrow. I'm going to try to find something for today. I saw something nice in Wolverhampton and fingers crossed guys, if I can get that, that will do numbers, trust me. But 
let me catch up with you in a bit. Okay guys, so about half an hour is gone and I spent, ah, uh, I used every fibre in my body to search Cold Park to see if I can find something and I think I found something in Wolverhampton. However, I've won the bid but I've won it on approval. So when you win a bid on approval, it basically means that there's a reserve or it needs to be approved by the seller, i.e. the insurance company. So I won the car at £4,100, they wanted £5,000 so when I logged into my account there was a discrepancy and it said um, you've won it for 4-1 um, the minimum from the seller seller minimum is 5000 so there's a £900 difference but I always stick I always always stick I never unless it's like majorly and I really want the car but I, I always stick because then I could just go get another one no, no problem <laughs> no water off my back but anyway, it says that we're, they're waiting to hear from the seller. I don't want to show you the car yet because I am so excited about this car. I'll give you a clue. It's a luxury brand. At 4-1, I can double that money because the car is unrecorded. And I know I never really do unrecorded um, damage. However, if the car is unrecorded and it's got no damage, I stay away from it. If I can see the damage, but it's unrecorded, and I can see that it says X for insurance company, I tend to trust it a little bit more. When you see this car, and if I win it, if they accept 4,100, trust me, it's gonna be a seller. And I guarantee one of you guys are gonna want it. I know it. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'll catch up with you. I might be smiling or I might be a bit down. Um, depending on if they take it or not. So I'll catch up with you as soon as I get that notification. Guys, I just got the notification. You have won a 2015. Let's go check it out. I am gas. Let me show you what I just won for 4,100 pounds. Guys, are you ready for this? I can't believe it. I hope when I get this car, I'm not disappointed. But anyway, no further ado. Ta-da! I just won a 2015 Mercedes-Benz A180 Sports Diesel Automatic Category U. It's only got 80k on the clock, it's a 65 plate engine start program, meaning that the engine starts but it doesn't run and drive because it's got suspension damage and I won that car in the air of transparency. Let me zoom it in. Have a look at that. I won this car. My final bid was £4,100. My maximum bid, they didn't know this, but my maximum bid was £4,600. But the actual ending bid on that auction for that lot was four one. They wanted five grand. I stuck at four one, and boom. On top of four one, they've added a ton of fees. We're gonna break it down and then I'm gonna show you the car. But I want you to see exactly what it is. So if I go to payments due. It's asking me to pay the registration fee. I'm not gonna pay that yet. But anyway, um, I've still got to the end of the year. So from Wolverhampton, as I just said. So I bought the car from Wolverhampton, as I told you. The sale price was 4.1. The buyer fee was 379. The internet bid fee, like imagine, you want us to come to coldpark.com and bid, but then you're charging us to do that on top of the membership fee, on top of the fees on the car. Oh, this is ridiculous. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm still gonna make profit, I don't care. <laughs> so internet bid fee is 65 quid. Lot retrieval fee. So when you go to the yard and you've got the, um, that you're paying them to get the car out for you. So 40 quid. VAT charges on top of the money that you're already paying, 96 pound, brings a net total due of 4,680 pound and 80p. You know what, it's expensive with the fees and stuff and everyone always has a goal, but I'm still happy with that because Check this out. Check out the quality of this car. So if I go back to the lot, this is why I'm so gassed. As you can see, you'll probably tell by my by the sound of my voice. I'm excited. But anyway, and I'm not excited for the car because I've had some of these before. I'm excited for the, the, the profit that I can make potentially. So I'll quick so let's have a look at the car. The bonnet seems okay, front bumper seems okay, salvageable. Headlight, I still can't see if it's cracked or not. Maybe it's salvageable, maybe it's salvageable, maybe it's not. Passenger side wing, and I know for a fact on these Mercedes is 
got it's got dual wishbones at the bottom so dual control arms so i'm assuming i might need to change one or maybe two of them i'm hoping that that suspension strut is okay i need a passenger wing and i can't see it in the picture but i know from experience when that wing has gone up like that and it's buckled it's gonna kind of like scratch the edge of the door so we'll spray the wing new wing spray the wing blend it onto the door scroll down front end all good left side driver side sorry all good the rear of the car all good rear of the car all good if i scroll down look inside no airbag damage it's got the screen it's got a rear view camera it's got black heated leather seats all good all good all good looking at the engine there's no damage to the top section all good i am happy now coming in here as you can see i don't know if you can see that you see as you can see right here it's idling below one which is where it's meant to be however it has got an engine light and i can see the kind of, i call it the pigtail but there's the kind of squiggly light it's got this little squidgy light right here that is to do with the glow plug so maybe it might have maybe i might need to buy a set of glow plugs i don't mind about that that's not a problem it's got engine light on um i will investigate that when it's on i don't mind seeing the engine light as long as the car's starting and it's driving and i'm happy with that um i've checked the mot it was recently mot so that means it's been an active car if i bought a car and it wasn't mot for two years or it wasn't mot for the whole year or it was yeah that kind of gives an insight that maybe that engine light might have been a bigger issue, bigger issue and the car wasn't driving. Um, anyway, scrolling down, as you can see, that alloy wheel is not damaged, tire is not damaged, and you can see from the bumper right here, once again, the bumper looks salvageable, so I'm not overly concerned. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Coming down, coming down, no issues, no issues, no issues. No issues. I am happy. No navigation module connected. I don't care. I don't mind about navigation. Um, I could pop. I can possibly retrofit that. But guys, have a look here. It's cat you. It's unrecorded. And to prove that, a lot of people always ask, what, what do I use? So let me just log in here to my trade. I was watching Calvin Car Diaries about a year ago. So if you're watching this mate, thank you, but I was watching Calvin Car Diaries and I saw him using this thing and I downloaded it, I've been using it for about a year and a half, I've got an account with him, you need to be in the trade, so I have got an account with him, I've got a trade in her account. So I've already checked this before I bid it, so if I go to recent checks, BJ65, BJ65, there we go, all registers are clear, have a look at the top right there, all registers are clear. Um, if I click that, stolen, clear, finance, clear, security watch, clear, insurance write-off, clear, condition, inspected, plate transfer, clear, all clear. If I go back, I can see the spec, so I know exactly what it's coming with. So, the new base price was 23 k from the factory when this car first came out in 2015. Someone then spent 1500 on optional extras. Let's see what that person bought. They bought metallic paint. Becker Mac Pilot, I don't know what that is. Reversing camera, 300 quid. 17 inch alloys, 150 quid. Black metallic paint, and that was it. They didn't really spend a lot. I can even see what the car came with standard from the factory, and I've already gone through that. I know what these cars come with. That's pretty straight. But once again, when you come out, all registers are clear, and I am happy with that. So guys, I am happy, I am gassed, I'm excited, I hope you are. In the morning, I'm going to be jumping into a recovery truck, and I'm going to be heading down to Wolverhampton, and you guys are going to be coming with me. So, what can you buy from Copart for 5k? You've just seen it. I have just bought a 2015 Mercedes A-Class, automatic, fully spec'd out, and it's unrecorded. So, let me know what you think of that. I'll see you in the morning. Woo! Showtime! Woo! 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 Great. Good morning, guys. It is about five o'clock the following morning. I've got a three-hour drive to Wolverhampton. Um, I'm not going to do too much talking on the drive. I'll catch up with you once I get to Wolverhampton. But I'm going to share some scenic shots of the route with you guys. I'm in the old banger. As you saw just now, I woke up on the morning. We're actually riding out. The battery decides to die. But I came prepared and that's the whole point. I have my little top-down battery starter and we're off. Good to go. 
silly me, I left the lights on last night when I parked up. So always be prepared, guys. Always be prepared. But I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. Alright guys, so I've just arrived at Cole Park in Wolverhampton, it was a long old drive, um, I set off at half five and I'll give you an up to date time, it is now 10 past 9. I hope you're enjoying this kind of behind the scenes type of videos, now that we've got a truck you're going to be getting more of that on the channel. However, I'm excited, the whole point of this video is what can you buy from Cole Park for 5 grand, that's worth it, that's the main important thing. We picked up the 65 plate Mercedes and I'm happy. I'm excited, but I'm a little bit worried about that engine light. I'm hoping to get it started. I just want to see if the car starts up and then I'll be fully, fully gassed after that. What I want to do as well is I'm going to take the car out once we get it. We're going to be doing the walk around, damage breakdown, right here from Cole Park in Wolves before I head back. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to identify exactly what's broken before we head back to London. Once we head back to London, then I can make a phone call on the way um, and hopefully by the time we get there, the parts. If it's like, let's say if it's like a, if it's a wishbone or whatever the case might be, hopefully something small, we can get the parts delivered by the time I get back. So that's the plan. I'm going to get out, stretch my feet. I've got my is on I've got everything ready to go we're just waiting and I don't know how long it's gonna be so I'm gonna catch up with you guys once the car's out See if it fires up. It's fucking clean though, man. Whee. Okay, we got power. Okay, right, guys, cars on the truck. I tried to start it, it's not starting. It's getting very busy in here and they're a bit arsy about filming, so let's get outside and then we're gonna go around the damage. I wanna try to get that car started. I've got a spare battery in the van, so let go. Alright guys, so I've just pulled up into a small car park right next door. Have a look. This is what I just bought for under 5k. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so I'm going to start from here and I'll make my way around. So far off the first impressions, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Everything on this side of the front end is nice and clean. I'm happy with the paintwork. I'm happy with the interior. I'll show you that in a second. But this side has got no damage to both the bodywork, all the suspension components. Walking around the car, everything looks nice. On the rear end, everything looks nice. There's no damage there. It's a A180 CDI. Coming around to this rear passenger side, there's no damage either. On the rear end, all the passenger front door. And this is where all the damage is. Like I always say, I always get damage that's localized to one specific area so I can focus on that, get it fixed and get the car gone. Um, under here, look, you can see that wing is completely gone so we need a new wing. You can see someone's repaired this bumper before, they've sanded it down. I might just whack a new bumper on there, you know? Look, someone's put body filler and all of this. And guess what, guys? This car is unrecorded. Cat U, it's unrecorded. So when you, a lot of people focus on HPI Clear, when you get these HPI Clear cars, you just don't know the history, you know? Sometimes HPI Clear cars are worse off than category cars. But look at that. That is a nice wedge of body filler. So it's a good thing that this wing is coming off. What I'm happy about is this light. It's not broken, it's not cracked from what I can see, but I'll know more once I get back to the garage and strip it down. Another thing that I noticed when it was coming is if you look right there, I don't know if I can zoom in. What you can see right there, that's the drive shaft. Have a look, drive shaft is gone as well. I didn't know that. that I didn't know about the drive shaft, so that's extra. I thought it was just um, the wishbones. However, what I'll do is I'll just get a complete suspension corner just to be safe. The alloy is not broken, I don't think. I think it's just the tire that needs replacing. Um, so that is a brief walk around of the exterior of the car. I'll show you that later, it's not open. 
Look at the interior of the car, guys. Interior of the car is, it's got a bit of dust. But other than that, there's nothing to indicate that this car has been neglected. It looks good. The only thing that I want to see, it did crank over, but I haven't got a big enough battery pack. So what I'm going to try to do is try to swap out the battery. I've got a spare battery in the truck and hopefully we can get this car started. Coming into the rear seat, same thing. A little bit of dust everywhere, but there's nothing to indicate that this car is neglected. And I'm happy, man. This is going to make a nice seller. So the next step is I want to see that engine starting and then we can set off. So let me see what I can come up with and then I'll catch up with you if it does start. Fingers crossed. All right, you guys, I've shot a bit of gold. Remember, I've only just recently got this truck. The guy that we got it off said that there's a few accessories in the little um, storage boxes, but check this out, we struck gold. So I found this. This is the plug that the AA people use. And if you look down here, have a look at that. This should be able to allow me to jump start the car. That's it, so that's plugged in. Let me start the car up and then I'll connect it. Like I was saying earlier, check out this engine bay. Super clean, super tidy. Once again, everything looks nice and intact. It's just someone has taken this out, but I will sort that out once I get back. I'm only worried about this engine light. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Guys, will it start? Will it not start? Let me know in the comments. Pause. Let me know if you think it's going to start. Come on. Oh, wow. Yes, man. Yes! We have got engine start. That's all I care about. I am happy. That's all I wanted to see. Okay, I'm gonna leave it running for a bit. And then I'm gonna see if there's any smoking or anything of that sort. Now I can switch this off. I want the alternator to do its thing on this car. I don't need to touch anything else. That engine sounds nice. Let's get up there. Guys, you're seeing this the same time that I'm seeing this. So I'm a bit excited. Guys, listen to that. I'm a very relieved man. I've already checked the oil. I've already checked the cooling. Cooling is in there. That engine sounds so nice. So I'll take this off. And hopefully, we can repair this battery. But guys, happy days. Happy, happy days. So guys, do you think I had a deal? The topic of this video was, what can you buy from Copart for under 5K? The total spend on this so far is 4,600 and I put 80 quid in diesel to get here and to get back. I've got half a tank, that should get me back to London, no problem. I saved myself 250 on recovery. The engine is running. We're gonna be tearing this down. If you wanna follow this build, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see how we get on, how much do you think I can sell this car for? Remember, it's a Cat U, it's on recorded, so there's no Cat N, Cat S, nothing. It's a straight car. And once I replace these parts with like for like parts, this car is going to be a daily driver and I'm going to be sticking it up for sale. If you're interested, let me know now. I'm going to head back to London and we're going to continue this build in episode two. So if you want to see how we get on, like I said, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to head back. So like I always say, keep it moving. And we're going to be keeping this moving and I'll see you in the next one. Guys, thank you for watching. Click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We out.